In Excel, you often have to compare two cells and see if they're the same. So we could use a formula like equal F4 equal G4 to see if there's the same value in these two cells. And that would be true because they both have AA in them. In some situations, though, you need to not only check the value of the cell, but also the upper and lower case. And for that, you can use the exact function. It compares text strings and it's case sensitive. So the result will only be true if the value is the same in the two cells that you're comparing and the case is the same for all the characters. You can use the exact function in other ways too. You can use it with data validation. We'll see how you can use it to block changes if a password wasn't entered correctly in a cell. Or you can force people to put all uppercase in a cell that has data validation. You can also use exact with a list. So you can see if a value is in a list or pull the matching value almost like a VLOOKUP but for an exact match. And you can use exact to count, kind of like count if, but again for exact matches. And then we'll see how you could go character by character through the two cells and see where the differences are. So in this workbook there's an admin sheet where we have entered a secret password and then this sheet could be hidden so that users can't see it. This cell is named and here's the name of the cell in the name box and it's PWD. So that's our secret password and it's a mixture of upper and lower case letters and some numbers. On another sheet, we ask users to enter the password, and then we can either just use a simple equal sign to compare the cell. So is C3 equal to what's in our password cell? And yes, it is. We've entered the same thing. Is it an exact match? Using the exact function, we compare C3 to PWD cell, and it is an exact match. It compares upper and lower case. Now this last character we have formatted with bold italic. It ignores the formatting when comparing, so as long as the case is the same, the result is true. Now if I change that to a lower case K, it's still equal. The values are the same in those cells, but it's not exact because the case is different in one or more of the characters. We can use that function with data validation. Here we're letting people change this cell if they have put in the correct password. And then if they have, we'll let them change that value. So the daily rate can be anywhere between 0 and 0.1. So we can see there's a lowercase k at the end. We know the password should have uppercase. So if I try and change this now to 0.6, I get an error message. So I'd have to put in the uppercase so it's an exact match. And then I'd be able to change to 0.6. We can again use it with another way to use this with data validation is to force upper or lower case letters in a cell. So here we've got a postal code. We want that to be all upper case. So for the data validation in that cell, I've got a formula that uses exact, compares C2 to upper C2. So if things aren't all in upper case, it's not an exact match and you won't be allowed to complete that entry. So if I try and type a lowercase p, I get the error message. We can also use the exact function to look for an exact match in a list. We've got product codes, again with upper and lower case letters in the codes. I've entered a product code here and we can see that the result is false because this D is lowercase and in the list it's uppercase. If I change the D to uppercase it's now true. This time the exact function is in a formula that is array entered. So we're using the OR function with it so it checks 
each item in the list against what we've entered in E2. After I type that function on the keyboard, I press Control and Shift and then press the Enter key. That automatically puts those curly brackets to show that's an array entered formula. Another example of an array entered formula is using the index function and match to find a true result when we look for an exact match in this password list. So I enter a password, it checks the passwords, and if one of those is true, then we find out which numbered item it is and it returns that row number from the name column. We can also use it almost like count if, if we combine the sum product function with exact, it looks through this list of items and counts only the exact matches. So there are three lowercase b's and one uppercase b. And finally, if you want to compare two items character by character, you could use exact with the mid function. So I've got eight characters in each cell and we would check the first character in item one to the first character in item two. And we can see going across that the third character doesn't match because we have lowercase here and uppercase there. So there are many ways you can use exact to compare text strings in your files.